Welcome to DIY Solar and Wind. We got a nice sunny day, all day. This is Sunday, and um, I want to show you the difference between on grid and off grid. So, the off grid system, the nine batteries aren't big enough for all the solar panels I have out there to run the refrigerator all day and night. So, usually on a sunny day, I get home from work and I turn on the big inverter the Jupiter and the extension cord runs up to the refrigerator and then I plug it in to that from the wall to the extension cord so I have off-grid power. So there's been a few times that I would come down and I would <laughs> forget I would shut off the inverter do laundry or something and go back upstairs and get into the next project and forget to plug the refrigerator into the outlet. So, I sometimes realize first thing in the morning that there's no power. So, basically right now, there's nothing in the freezer. <laughs> so, I'm going to cheat. So, here we go. Right now, power is coming in through these three charge controllers. That doesn't have digital. But it is charging the batteries and what is that 12.9 on that one it was 13 there's 12.8 on that one that's coming in from the big blues and i believe this is the harbor freight the black solar panels and these are the blues coming in and that is so that you don't ruin your inverters and you don't ruin your batteries the charge controllers make sure that the power is correct for your system I went out and disconnected the solar, 10 solar panels in the backyard so I can have this wonderful little device. This is a grid tie inverter. You have it out, you have the power coming in right here from the batteries in this tote going down to the battery there and the four batteries in this tote. So I have nine batteries connected right here to the back end of that grid tie inverter. And from here, I just come over and I turn it on. Give it a second for its little computer chip to get going. It's got a sink. Once it sinks the electricity from the grid to the electricity here in the batteries, but um, it's got a, it's got a because your voltage changes constantly. You'll be at 119 volts one day. And another day you'll be at 124. So this sinks with the outside grid power. And now I have power coming in and going through to the extension cord. And if nothing's running right now, that would run my meter backwards. And this takes everything so much simpler. So I don't have to worry about losing food. That's awkward. Most of the time, there's only one time that I lost food. Most of the time, when I go downstairs and I check, and uh, switch this around. I come downstairs in the morning and find out the refrigerator is not on, and I reach my finger in the ice cube tray. And there was only one time the ice cubes were melted. So uh, I, d I deal with it. <laughs> I'm learning this, and I want you all to know exactly what I'm doing and what's going on so that you don't have these same situations. So if you want to go grid tied, you get your solar panels and all your solar panels plug in to your inverter and that runs all the electricity through the outlet. So you're saving electricity because nowadays I think all of the meters run backwards. And that's a beautiful thing. I think that sums everything up. And uh have a nice sunny day.